Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am Brian. Thank you for joining me for another video. I do apologize. I had my eyes dilated this morning, and so they're slowly getting back into regular shape, but the bright lights of the studio are a little blinding, so you see me squinting, that's why. Um, today, I am going to be doing a new pour for myself. It is called a kiss pour. And what a kiss pour is, is when you layered your paints inside of a cup, two separate cups, then you pour them together as the streams hit their kissing and they fall down onto the canvas and make the design and then I'll stretch it out. So I am very excited about this. I haven't even practiced this. I watched Olga, a video of hers today. Um, I know Sarah Mack has done one or done them a lot of times. So um, I thought I'd give it a shot. So I'll get you down on the canvas. We'll talk about the size and all the colors that I've picked and we'll go from there. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so what I've got here is a 20 by 20 canvas. It is taped on the back. I've got push pins in. And what I'm going to be doing, like I said, is a kiss pour. So what this canvas size needs is about 14 ounces of paint. So I've got two eight ounce cups. So that's 16 ounces. We're going to pour onto the canvas. And the colors that I am using, get ready folks, because there's a lot. I am using Deco Arts Satin Enamels White and Amsterdam's Titanium White mixed. I'm using Liquitex Cadmium Yellow Light. I'm using Deco Art 24 Karat Gold. I'm using Amsterdam's Naphtha Red Light. And again, excuse me, my eyes are not great for reading, so it's kind of hard to remember every single name. Amsterdam's Naphtha Red Deep. That's going to be in my first cup. My second cup is going to be the white again as well, but I'm also going to be using Amsterdam's Turquoise Green. I'm going to be using Artist Loft Turquoise, Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue, and Liquitex Dioxazine Purple. Now, um, I'm using some of these colors. I saw that, like I said, the video I saw from Olga Solby. And so I'm using some of the colors that she used in hers, trying to just uh, get a kind of feel of the color palette. So I'm not using everything that she's using, um, but I did want to kind of incorporate some of them. Her piece is amazing. And so I will um, link her video in the description so you get an idea. All right, so I will get started on the layering of these things, these cups. I will speed you up because you don't need to see everything in real time. I'm gonna put a little white on the bottoms of both cups. And I'm also gonna use this white, I'm gonna thin it out as my flow extender. So I'm gonna dirty cup pour these. I'm just gonna pour some colors in. So now I'm going to take my leftover white, which I don't have much of, and I'm going to thin it out. Now my paints were used, um, I used a gloss medium by Dela and Rowney, Dela Rowney. Um, it is, you know, a cheaper um, 
gloss medium. I wanted to give it a try. I had some left over from some uh, other pours that I did. And so I wanted to give it a try. Where are my paper towels? So my flow extender, you want that to be a little more runny than the actual paint colors themselves, which they are. The recipe for the colors, I don't have a exact number for you. I do have an exact number as far as the pouring medium goes. I put 100 grams of pouring gloss medium in each of the cups for the colors. And then I added paint onto the gloss medium and mixed it up. And then I added water to thin it out to get consistency because the De La Rowney um, gloss medium is very, very thick. All right. So what I'm gonna do first is I am gonna do a little gold in the center. And this is kind of what Mina has been doing. She's taught me by watching her videos. Wow, this got really thick sitting here. Um, so this kind of will help us maybe get some gold cells that pops up. Wow, guys, this was super thick. Probably should have thinned this out a little more. That's all right. It is what it is. All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to make sure the streams, as they pour out, they kiss. So we pour equally and go. Wow, that is a thing of beauty. do is I am going to pour a little bit of my white for my flow extender. Now I'm gonna really try to keep you guys in this camera frame here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the right. A minute until midnight. I'm just wondering where you at. Just thought I'd call and wish you good night. I left my key under the mat. I don't get anything done, you're stuck in my mind. I keep on missing your touch, missing your vibe This feeling I'm going to say what we had Won't you come on over? Don't you miss me too? Give it all you got, babe, give it all you got, baby I'd rather try to lose you Give it all you got, baby Give me all you got
Now let's evaluate, see what we like, what we'd like to keep, what we'd like to go. Just like to see it move a little further to the left. Okay, I'm going to move that off a little bit. It doesn't need to be dead center. All right, I'm digging it. I didn't get a lot of gold cells, which I kind of thought I might. Um, we'll see how it dries. All right, let's torch this sucker. All right, guys, I'll get you down. I'll show you this wet result. I'll be right back. Bring you in for a close-up. I really love this kiss pour. I like the uh, how you get the mixture of the colors, but, you know, you got the lighter side stays on one side, the darker kind of stays on the other side, but then they kind of blend. So I'll bring you in for a close-up. Loving these corners. Kind of galaxy-like. I guess anytime you use a deep purples and blues, you get that galaxy look. I don't necessarily know that I would call this galaxy, but very much fire-like with the reds, the oranges. See all these tiny little itty bitty cells kind of just forming, but great stuff. I like doing this pour, it was fun. All right guys, so I will show you guys the wet result and I'll be right back. Okay guys, here is the dried result. It's still a little bit tacky in the middle, so, but it's dry enough that I can make the finishing video. Um, love the colors, I love the composition of this. Just beautiful, um, kiss, Pours are very fun to do, I will say. I will definitely be doing more of them. I'll take you in, let you see how well this is drying. Just beautiful. Loving the outside light. Of course, blues are my favorite color. So anything that's got blue just really gets my vote. Loving how the little white came up through. All right, everyone. So that is this piece. As always, if you're interested in any of my pieces, they are for sale. You can email me directly at Brian's Upper Valley Artistry at gmail.com. Also, don't forget to give me some thumbs up, some likes. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That'll let you know when I do post new video content. All right, everyone, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.